Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation which is 5 to the power of x plus 1 minus 5 to the power of x minus 1 this is equal to 30 so what is the value of x? now let's provide a solution from here this exponential equation is in the form of a to the power of n plus m which we can express as a to the power of n times a to the power of m and again, this exponential equation is in the form of a to the power of n minus m, which you can express as a to the power of n divided by a to the power of m. So applying these two exponent property, then we have 5 to the power of x multiplied by 5 to the power of 1, subtract 5 to the power of x divided by 5 to the power of 1. This is equal to 30. Now, since 5 to the power of x is common here, we can factor out 5 to the power of x. Into the parentheses, we have 5 minus 1 over 5. This is equal to 30. Now, we have 5 to the power of x. Into the parentheses, we have that the LCM. Remember, 5 is our number, so this is over 1. The LCM is 5. 5 divided by 1, this is 5 times 5, this is equal to 25, subtract 5 divided by 5, which is 1 times 1, this is 1, this is equal to 30. So we have here 5 to the power of x, multiplied by 25 minus 1, this is 24, over 5, this is equal to 30. So let's multiply both sides by 5 over 24. And also here we have 5 over 24. So let's simplify 5 and 5 here, 24 and 24 here, so that we have 5 to the power of x. This is equal to, now, we can simplify here, 24 divided by 6, this is equal to 4. That divided by 6, this is equal to 5. So 5 times 5, this is 25, divided by 4. Now, to solve for x here, we introduce logarithm on both sides. We have log 5 to the power of x. This is equal to log 25 over 4. Now we have that log 5 to the power of x. This is in the form of log a to the power of n, which we can express as n log log a. So applying this power root property, now applying this power root property, log 5 to the power of x becomes x log 5. This is equal to log 24 over, this is 25 over 4. So this implies that we can divide both sides by log 5 from here. So that log 5 and log 5 here simplifies. And this implies we have x is equal to row 25 over 4 divided by row 5. Now the next step is that row 25 over 4, this is in the form of row a over b, which we can express as row a subtract row b. Now applying this logarithm property, we have that x is equal to, this is rog 25, divided by rog 5, subtract rog 4, divided by rog 5. The next step is that we can express 25, this is the same thing as 5 to the power of 2, and you can express 4 as 2 to the power of 2. So this implies we have x equal to, this is rog 5 to the power of 2 divided by rog 5, then subtract rog 4, which is rog 2 to the power of 2 divided by rog 5. The next step is that we can we can apply the power of property here so that now rog 5 to the power of 2 becomes 2 rog 5 divided by rog 5. Then subtract rog 2 to the power of 2 becomes 2 rog 2. Then divided by rog 5. Now, 
The next step is to simplify log 5 and log 5 here, so that now we have x is equal to 2, subtract 2, log 2 over log 5. This is in the form of log a over log b, which we can express as log a to base b. And this implies we have 2 log 2 to base 5. Now this is the value of x. This is the value of x. Now the next step from here is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation as follows. Now let's verify that this value of x here satisfies the equation. Now if you recall, we end that 5 to the power of x plus 1, then subtract 5 to the power of x, subtract 1. This is supposed to give us a value of 30. Now let's substitute the value of x here, so that we have 5 to the power of 2, minus 2, this is rock 2, to base 5, then plus 1, then subtract 5 to the power of 2, minus 2, rock 2, to base 5, then subtract 1. This is supposed to give us a value of 30. Now this implies we have 5 to the power of 2 plus 1. This is 3 minus 2, rock 2 to base 5. Then subtract 5 to the power of 2 minus 1. This is 1 minus 2, rock 2 to base 5. This should give us a value of 30. Now, we have that this is a power. This is a power here. So we can express this as 5 to the power of 3 minus rock 2 raised to the power of 2 to base 5. Then subtract 5 raised to the power of 1 subtract rock 2 to the power of 2 to base 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 30. Now, the next step is that 5 to the power of 3 minus rock 2 to the power of 2 to base 5. And 5 to the power of 1 minus rock 2 to the power of 2 to base 5. This is in the form of a to the power of n minus m, which can be expressed as a to the power of n divided by a to the power of m. Applying this property, then we have 5 to the power of 3 divided by 5 to the power of rock 2 raised to the power of 2 to base 5. Then subtract 5 to the power of 1 divided by 5 to the power of rog 2 squared to base 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 30. Now, we have that 5 to the power of 3. This is 125 divided by. Now, 5 raised to the power of rog 2 to the power of 2 to base 5. This is in the form of a to the power of rock b to base a, which essentially is supposed to give us a value of b. So this implies that 5 to the power of rock 2 squared to base 5, this is equal to 2 squared, which is equal to 4. So now we have here 125 divided by 4 minus 5 divided by 4, this is supposed to give us a value of 30. Now, we have here that the LCM is equal to 4, such that we have 4 divided by 4 here, this is 1 times 125, this is 125, subtract 4 divided by 4, this is 1 times 5, this is 5, and this is supposed to give us value of 30. Now, this means is 125 minus 5, this is equal to 120 divided by 4. This is supposed to give us a value of 30. So, 120 divided by 4, this is equal to 30. And this clearly shows that we have the left hand side is equal to 30 as well as on the right hand side we have 30. So the left hand side is equal to the right 
add side and this affirms that the value of x here which is equal to 2 minus 2 rog 2 to base 5 actually satisfies the equation so kindly follow the steps like this video and kindly subscribe please like this video and kindly subscribe see you in the next video bye bye for now